Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's doing good out there. I hope everybody's doing great. Y'all, I could not hardly do a video last night. It was like my third video. I was going to close it out. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to get on there or not, but I'm glad that I did. But this uh, video is about uh, uh, the love of my life, who I thought was the love of my life. Um, as y'all know, I dated this person before before I started dating the guy that I was with for 12 years. Uh, I mean, I think I was young. I was young. I'm going to say I was young. Uh, I think that, you know, when you young, you think that you, you in love. You know, you don't think that it's puppy love. You know, you think that you in love and you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. Not realizing that this is not who you gonna be with the rest of your life? This is just a person that it's it's like puppy love, you know. Like I said, it's puppy love, and it's a person that you going to um it's just a person that you probably just hang out with. Or a person that you probably just go to be with, you know, uh, basically lose your virginity to. Because this this was my first love, and this was the love of my life. I love this person so much. Well, at least I thought I did. I didn't know that. The things that I know now about love, I didn't know they did. I didn't know that did y'all. I didn't know what it was like to be in love, and I didn't know what it's like to love. All I knew was that I loved this person, you know. And all I, I didn't, I didn't know that it takes two to love. I didn't know it. Love was unconditional. I didn't know it. It was that, you know, I thought maybe me like being there beside him, helping him, taking care of him when he didn't have a job or when he didn't have no money. I thought that was love. Yeah, I didn't know that me uh me not if I don't do this, if I don't do that, I didn't know that that I still loved him. I thought I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, you know, not to to sabotage anyone. You know, we get out here in these streets and we think we in love and we enjoy love and we want to be loved. But at the end of the day, I, I just really didn't know. I didn't know what love was. I didn't until a le later on in life did i know what love was in my 20s no i didn't because in my 20s y'all i never had a relationship i never thought about a relationship only thing i was thinking about was running down the streets going to the clubs and stuff you know i think from friday saturday and sunday or wednesdays or thursdays all of i'm gonna put it to you like this if the club was open i was there if the bar was open I was there. Oh yeah, I did my my little digglings too. I mean, I, I that's why I sit there and say, you know, back then I wasn't ready for marriage. I wasn't ready for no children. You know, but as I look up now, uh I said I would never get married, but I think I'm ready for marriage and I think I'm ready for um, children, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, I didn't even think that you could be gay and have kids. You know, that didn't, uh, that didn't come to me until 
later on. So I learned that it didn't matter if you was gay. It didn't matter if you had a partner. You still could have a child. And you still could bring, just because you couldn't bring a child in this world yourself. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That was my alarm clock. I use this in my alarm for 8 o'clock. I didn't know it was 8 o'clock. Like I was saying, I didn't know that. I didn't know. You know, I didn't know that, you know, it was that I could had had a family. I could have had the husband. I could have had the, the child. But again, like I said, I wasn't ready. And why would I bring a child into my life or into my, my house home if I'm not ready and bring him through all the drama that I was going through? No, I didn't want that for him. You know, all my friends was having children. All my friends was having children all through high school and stuff. I never did understood it, but I was, you know, and then I'm going to tell y'all something. I wasn't even into girls, so I was gay. So I was just trying to figure that part out in my life, too. I was trying to figure out where, what is I'm, what, where am I, why is I'm different from everybody else. So, you know, that's why I sit there and say what I say. You know, I say what I say. I don't say nothing to harm nobody. I don't say nothing to wish anybody heartache or harm. I just say the things that I know that is true, you know. Um, but yeah, the love of my life was, I, I can't tell y'all this person, but just know it, it ain't my ex. How about that one? I loved him. I really did. Or like I said, maybe I thought I loved him, but I did. Because my mama then was kept telling me, you don't love this boy. You you don't you don't know what love is. You too learn, you too young to even know what love is. And I didn't realize that. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like somebody was telling me, an older person, I can't tell y'all this person right me Uh Go to school. Go get your education. You know, then raise your family. Well, it's not all about that. You know, the far as these kids now going to get education, and it's the same when I was doing it, going to school too. Graduate from high school. You get out of high school. You get your job. After you save you enough money, you move out your parents' house. And you start building a life for yourself. If you decide to go to trading school, fine. But back then, people wouldn't think about going to college. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say I think parents are way too hard on children, on their kids, on education. But that's another story. We're going to uh, uh, continue that. That's going to be part two of this video. This is part one. But I want to close this video by saying that, um, hold on, y'all. I have to look for what I've got. I want to close this video by saying I want to thank everybody for their support. Um, I reached a 2,300 views today and uh, or yesterday. But I just read my email today and I had got, I, I guess I got a plaque for that uh, through my email. And I wanted to tell everybody thank you. I want to tell everybody thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my bit, taking time out to watch my videos. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for just supporting me in the all around game because YouTube is not easy. It's hard, like I said before. But I know, thank you for sometimes even putting up with me with the long video titles or sometimes even putting up with me uh, maybe my boring videos. I just want to say I thank everybody. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed right now with the 
with the congratulations and the support. And I just want to say thank y'all. I really do. And I want to say, love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. And I also want to say, make sure you follow, subscribe, and like this video. And share. I also wanted to say, make sure you stay prayed up. That's the most important thing. Stay prayed up because out of all the things that's going on in this world today, we need God in our life. So stay prayed up.